Cat, you gotta get down now, I gotta go out. So, um, since I made the stick antenna, I have actually discovered a few things that the impedance is really affected by how dry the wood is and um, the, the newer the wood basically, the more it will affect your impedance. Now, you could possibly counteract that with more coiling, but um, yeah, so just by chance that the, the rotten wood I used last time was actually slightly better for me till I've snapped it. So I've already got some a few sticks I've collected, some uh, dry rotten ones. So uh, yeah, I'm looking for a few more now. So we're back at this spot again and um, going up the top of this hill. It's a pretty good takeoff up here. I don't know how far I'm going to get, but I have programmed in some repeaters which were further away. Okay, there's a the view. It's quite hazy today. And in the bag, we have got the the coax getaway flight antenna I made. Oh, it's a spider. Sorry, spider. What are you doing? Um, which I've just tidied up a bit. The ICOM 2700. Uh, this for filming. Little tripod camera holder. And I've also got now um, a microphone which I'm going to set up. So hopefully, because it might be a bit windy at the moment, you might be picking up wind. So I'm going to set up anyway. Testing, testing, one, two. This testing, testing, one, two. That's without the microphone. And then put the microphone in. I don't know if it'll just work straight away. Testing, testing, one, two. Seems seamless. I haven't done any settings. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'll try and film this the best I can. I've got a bit of pipe, PVC pipe, that I've cut the end off to get, um, to use as a spike this time for the ground, which will make life a bit easier. Hopefully the antenna won't fall down. I've got this rotten stick, which is quite a monster. I don't think we need it that big. Let's uh, measure out our coax. And I think we'll break it about there. That was easy enough then, wasn't it? There we are. So just a quick explanation of what I'm planning to do today. I've got my stick um, in the ground. Okay, then I've got, um, I've made this uh, dipole thing. Uh, this is the coax, so I've stripped the top off and I've come down here and I've made a little coil and this goes off and it goes off to the radio. Let's put TXF for transmit and RX for receive. I could just call it a transceiver, but there we are. And this here is, that's the choke there. That's choking off um, any RF, so it we're not tuning any of this coax here and this is the radiating part and we know from a, a dipole center fed dipole this should be i believe i'm sure someone will correct me if i'm wrong this should be the highest current there and the highest voltage there okay so this is the main bit that's coming out this is the the bit we're interested in and what we're going to do we're going to add a um just some sticks and some some way wherever we can okay and they're going to be roughly about 25 centimeters away there and we're going to build a reflector so we're going to get a bit of copper wire or whatever i've got i i make um i make balance and things so i've got a lot of this uh, spare wire and i'm just going to put this piece of copper wire there just covering the the bit that's radiating 
it will overlap slightly. And um, and hopefully the RF will hit that and then bounce back and that will increase the gain so we get a bit more bit more strength there on receive and send in. That's the theory. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to put this on there like that. Okay. Get my cable ties. Hopefully you can see what I've done. So this coax antenna it's basically, or some people call it a flower pot antenna. I call it the stick antenna for obvious reasons, but it runs up there and that's, it's a center fed dipole effectively. I just want to cut this, um, this other one off here. I have a piece of old ladder line and I am going to fit it onto here. Try and fit it onto here anyway. I want it to act like a reflector. So I don't know how much you can see me in this light because the screen is awful to look at. I could do with a bit more cable here. Right, this is not making any difference at the moment. That's coming in really clear. Fair play. An X. That, that's, that's 75 miles away that one. Okay, I need to I need to get my tube in the ground. Buzzard. I'll tell you what I'll do. Okay, right, so this, this contraption is not doing anything at the moment. Next idea. So we were getting no bars on that um, station then. But I'm not surprised because it's a crazy distance away. I'm just going to add a bit more copper wire to this. I might be further out than 25 centimetres. Mike Whiskey Zero, Oscar Yankee Delta. Could I get a radio check, please? Okay, nothing coming back. Is this doing anything, this thing, or is it causing more trouble than it's worth? I may take the um, ladder line off. Okay, we've stumbled across a repeater that seems to be outputting something weird, so I can use it to test the strength. So it's a consistent sound. Now, if you can see the screen, Turn my timer off. So you can see the screen now. Watch when I turn this, watch the bars. Now it's obviously over there because um, it's on the reflector end now. And then when I turn it, the bars are going right up. I turn it again, hopefully you can see that. It's on the back end. So it's definitely doing something. Um, hopefully that's giving me a bit of gain there. Let's get this banged in properly. Rubber mallet would be handy. It's definitely over there. It's in that direction. CM. Mike Whiskey Zero, Oscar Yankee Delta. Could I get a radio check, please? No, either I'm not. Well, I'm opening it up, so I am getting out, but maybe it's too scratchy on the side. SH. Gotta have a look what SH is now, haven't I? Oh um, yeah. Southampton, 91 miles away. Try again. 
Mike Whiskey Zero Oscar Yankee Delta Portable. Could I get a radio check please just to see if I'm getting into this repeater? Thank you. Mike Whiskey Zero Oscar Yankee Delta Portable. Could I get a radio check please to see if I'm getting into this repeater? Thank you. No, I don't know. Mike Whiskey Zero, Oscar Yankee Delta. Um, portable, thanks for coming back to me. Am I coming in okay? What's my report, please? G zero RK Mike Whiskey Zero Oscar Yankee Delta Portable. Um, the name's Lloyd. Yes, I'm on a hill in South Wales in Cardiff. Um, just testing out to see how far I can get on this antenna. It's a homemade antenna, just out of a bit of coax um, on the end of a stick. And um, I'm really pleased that it's getting through. Th thanks a lot for um, coming back to me. Back to you. Yeah, no problem at all. G zero O R K. Thanks very much for coming back to me, and um, that's brilliant. This is Mike Whiskey Zero Oscar Yankee Delta Portable now going clear. Thank you. Seven threes. Brilliant. So um, let's have a look where that was. That was uh, Torquay, seventy-five point three miles away. According to this, <laughs> and now we're getting f full bleeps. Um, that's full bleeps. We're getting full. Um, yeah, his, his signal what was not showing, but I'm getting. I was getting full bars then when the repeater bleeps came along. So um, something's working here really well, and I, I'm definitely aiming that way. There we are. Oh, I wish that would. Uh, carried on. Oh, I'm chuffed with that. That is, uh, I've been, I've been sitting on um, cow, on sheep shit. Oh, okay. That's, that's always a downside to every upside. Damn. I didn't realise it was right by there. Anyway, um, that is certainly a direction of Torquay. And um, yeah, I'm chuffed with that. I'm absolutely chuffed with that. Damn, that's good. And he gave me a 5.9 plus. What's that on about? Is something wrong with that one? I don't know this one. This is like a, it's like a direction finder, this. I gotta watch this sheep stuff. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. I, th I, was, I was really disappointed. I thought, oh, I'm not, I'm not really getting anywhere today. If this was straighter, this might be affecting my polarization. Being a bit wonky. Um, and this isn't very straight anymore, do you know what I mean? If I'd, see this off again. If I'd straightened this, um, using PVC piping, which I will do, it'd be nice in line, but because it's sticks and stuff. And it, remember, this is an emergency situation. But I've just reached someone 75 miles away. So next time I might go up to this little mound here, which I know quite well, because where I am here, I am quite, I have got another mountain surrounding me, which has stopped me, to, stopped me going west so much. And a lot of trees and this electric pylon, obviously. 
which could be affecting the signal. So I'm going to try up there next time. Okay, so I'm pretty pleased with that. The copper wire worked well as a reflector. I think the ladder line was doing a similar thing, but it just didn't need all that um, ladder line and copper, so I took it off. Um, it definitely does reflect, certainly getting some reflection. Um, so, and it boosted the signal a bit. I was going out when I reached that far away repeater, he wasn't coming in with any bars. Um, but I could hear him clearly, so it's a bit, a bit strange. Um, but I, he said I was coming in, booming in there, so it's obviously because I put the watts up to with with loss. It was around about 39 40 watts, um, or maybe it was 45 watts, which is quite excessive, and your battery's not going to last long with that. But um, yeah, it was just to see if I'd get in because I wasn't getting an answer from a lot of repeaters. And that's basically, I just don't think they're very popular. I was certainly opening them up and I was getting bars back on them. On well, most of them anyway. So yeah, so I'm pretty pleased with that anyway. Some uh, burdock there growing. If you're familiar with dandelion and burdock. Um, I thought so I'd give you a bit of information there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. That was pretty far away, that, that repeater. And I don't think propagation is particularly good today because it's so warm and muggy. I'll have to have a look, actually, on the website to see... I can't remember what it's called now. Get off flat. So the battery ran out on the camera as I was filming. Um, thanks for watching and there is another video coming shortly where I make this antenna using PVC pipe. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, the fun I had. It's pretty impressive for a coax cable antenna and I'm trying to simulate an emergency so it is a bit um, silly looking but you know, look how far I got on it. Anyway, 73s and really thanks for watching. See you again. Bye. You gotta get down. Ah.